Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So guys, we are going to start the plane waves in lossy medium. Lossy medium, right? So what is a lossy medium? First of all, in order to know what lossy medium is, we, we can define lossy medium as with sigma greater than zero, it, it means that it has conduction losses and um, epsilon, the imaginary part of the epsilon is greater than zero. This means that we have dielectric losses and the imaginary part of mu is greater than zero. This means that it has magnetic losses. It shows the dielectric losses and this guy shows the conduction losses in fact so we need to go on with the in order to understand the wave equations so um, normally what we have is that we have dielectric and magnetic losses typically very small both of them are normally very small for most of the materials and we can neglect them easily. We can neglect both of these losses and we can say that they are not imaginary but they are real values um, where the, I mean, whereas the epsilon is in general form equal to epsilon dash this j double epsilon double dash where this shows the real part and this shows the imaginary part for any material likewise is the case with permeability i'm sorry uh, likewise is the case with the permeability so permeability is also uh, sorry um, mu dash plus j mu double dash where we consider that this uh, in 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 the material most of the time the materials are with very low uh, dielectric and magnetic losses so what we can do is we can neglect them and we can we can only say that we have only real values of epsilon and mu so in that case what we can do is we can devise the maxwell equations then uh, in this way that if for example we consider we mm -hmm. have uh, conduction losses only only we have conduction losses so the max Maxwell equations for any um, uh, any material that has conduction losses in a homogeneous isotropic and linear medium I mean so we have these two pro three properties homogeneous uh, linear and isotropic medium where we have conduction losses only, uh, our Maxwell equations become curl of E curl of E is actually equal to uh, minus J omega mu H where this stands to be the first Maxwell equation and then we have curl of h that is equal to j omega epsilon e plus sigma e where this sigma e contributes to the conduction losses in fact okay now the third equation is curl of e it goes equal to zero and the curl of h is obviously equal to zero so this constitutes to be the third and the fourth Maxwell equation in fact uh, so having the Maxwell equations equations 1 2 3 and 4 what we can do is the same way we did what the, for the lossless case that we took um, the curl of first the curl of first and putting it in in equation number two 
likewise taking curl of 2 and putting it in equation number 1 as we did in the previous lossless case we covered that in the class so in that case what we are left with I will leave the steps for you and what we are left with is is Laplacian of E minus J Omega mu Sigma plus J Omega epsilon E whereas Laplacian this is Laplacian and this is actually considered to be the gamma square of E and is equal to zero so this is considered to be equation number five and where this is called the gamma this gamma is the complex propagation constant in fact complex propagation constant and this gamma was in fact um, this gamma was um, was real and was uh, a bit different it was considered to be k in the previous lossless case but now it converted to a complex form and that is gamma square so this is in the case of the lossy medium so in the lossy medium we have gamma and with the lossless case we have k right so let me write the other equation curl uh, Laplacian of h Laplacian of h minus j omega mu and sigma plus j omega epsilon h which equals to curl uh, uh, Laplacian of del square of h which is Laplacian of h minus gamma square of h and equal to zero and this is equation number six let me rewrite equation number five and in equation number six in order to understand them so 5 implies that del square of E minus gamma square of E is equal to 0 and 6 implies that del square of H minus gamma square of H is equal to 0 so they are the wave equations in fact wave equations for lossy medium medium in fact now now if you notice this wave, these wave equations for the lossy medium have gamma in fact and this gamma square is in fact equal to j omega mu and it has a complex part as well so you can say that it is equal to um, omega square mu epsilon plus j omega mu sigma whereas you can shorten it in this way that you can rewrite it in this form so it is the value of gamma square in fact gamma square is this right now going further um, we can subdivide this in the real and imaginary parts so let me rewrite it in this way gamma is actually equal to alpha plus j beta this gamma is really important we need to understand this gamma this gamma is the complex propagation constant um, of the wave that is traveling in a lossy medium so the topic we are covering right now is is plane waves in lossy medium we did the plane waves in the lossless medium right so why we are doing this because the antenna is made up of transmission line antenna and the generator and the antenna can be uh, made up of dielectric as well as conduction conductor and it has dielectric and conduction losses so it is a lossy medium and the transmission line we are using is also a lossy medium so for that purpose we are considering the gamma and we are considering the lossy medium case okay then so so we can also I mean rewrite it in this way after solving a bit we can say that this is 1 minus Sigma by the imaginary part Sigma by Omega epsilon and you can also say this is J and K 
of 1 minus j sigma by omega epsilon where k constitute to this value so alpha and beta need to be understood what they are in fact so alpha is the attenuation constant we can have the value of alpha and beta separately as well attenuation constant and this beta is actually phase constant of a wave so this shows the attenuation as for example we have two mediums so the wave is traveling like this and it enters another medium so this attenuates like this so this alpha is going to define the attenuation and the phase is going to be defined by beta which is the imaginary part of the propagation constant